An Enderman farm is by far one of the best experience farms in the game. Now you must know how to build one or have someone you know of that can build one for you. It is very far away and let's face it, the end is pretty scary for a lot of people. Guardian farm is another excellent source of XP, but building one is not that easy. And if you've ever tried to drain an ocean monument in the surrounding area to build one, then you know it takes quite some time. Having a hostile mob spawner is also an excellent way of getting experience. Maybe you've even gotten lucky and found two double, a double spawner, two spawners next to each other like I have here. But all of the XP farms that we've looked at so far are missing one important thing in the game. That one thing that is missing out of the equation for all of those experience farms your farms. Hi, this is VegasVig1965. In this week's video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on what I do to keep all of my farms running, to get all the experience I need, to, to mend my tools, to upgrade my gear, and also to get all those shiny emeralds that I use to trade with these villagers to get more awesome stuff. As you can see behind me, I've got a creeper farm. I have a couple small iron farms. I have a couple pumpkin and melon farms and a few other small farms, but none of those are going to be running if I'm off at some experience farm. So let me show you what I do to keep all this running and still get all those things that we talked about. So without further ado, let's find out. My go-to for a villager powered experience farm is gonna be these guys here, the farmer villager. Now the farmer villagers, I have 16 of them here and their second trade is important because I use this bread to breed more villagers that I need. What I'll do is get a couple of Fletchers and then I'll get some sticks, sell them off to the, to the Fletchers for emeralds and then of course trade these guys, the farmers, to see if I can't level them up and they must have a pumpkin trade in that third trade. If they don't have a pumpkin trade, then I send them back to the factory. But by having just the emeralds, you can easily chop down a couple trees, get plenty of sticks, and get all the emeralds you need to trade and level these guys up. From then on, there's your experience. Now, I've got a couple of pumpkin and melon farms I'm going to show you here in a moment, but that's what I use to trade these guys to get all the experience that I need and all the emeralds I need to get the rest of the supplies that I want. And more importantly, these guys offer the highest saturation food, and that is golden carrots. So you're selling off the pumpkins, the melons, and golden carrots, and that while that farm is running, that's the pumpkin melon farm we're going to take a look at right now. Now, my son and I are playing on the AdStar Minecraft server, survival server, and it is played on normal mode. So I have two pumpkin and melon farms because I do not want to risk trying to zombify those, those farmer villagers. Because if you do try that on normal mode, 50% of the time, they're going to die on you. So that's why I've made two of these automatic pumpkin and melon farms, which are running right under the base right here. So that's just two of the farms that are continuing to run while I'm getting all the experience I need from them. Okay, now I've hopped over to the AdStar Hardcore server. They have a Hardcore PvE and PvP. My son, are play my son and I are playing on the PvE version. And once again, I have 16 farmer villagers. And you'll see that their trades are exactly the same, only this time the pumpkins and melons are down to one, and so are the golden carrots. Now what I've done is I've zombified these just one time. Zombified all these villagers one time because we're on hard mode. There's a 100% chance that that will work. So that will get you all the pumpkins and melons down to just one each. And what that means, a lot less pumpkins and melons to farm. Now again, I've got another pumpkin and melon farm, but just one of them on here, which is more than enough to take care of these guys here. Three stacks of pumpkins, three stacks of melons is all you need. By the time you get around to the end, they'll be done. You'll have plenty of experience, or of course, if you're using it to mend your tools, and also plenty of emeralds. And all of my farms, again, are right here at my place, which is exactly what I want. I want them all running while I'm getting all the experience that I need. Now, if you're playing on a server that limits the number of entities in an area, like my son and I are playing on AdStar, which also does that, you want to make sure that you spread your villagers out or your all, all of your other uh, mob mobs out so you don't have any that start disappearing on you. Like in this building right here, again, I build for efficiency, not necessarily for beauty, but I have a number of villagers in there like blacksmiths, clerics, and a few others. In this building right down here, I have housed 64 blocks away. I have all of my librarians. 
And that one over there was the one we just visited. That's uh, 16 of my farmer villagers, another 64 blocks away. But they're all within one small area, which I have all my other farms running, like my creeper farm, our triple decker creeper farm here. I also have the pumpkin and melon farm, uh, and the iron farm, which is just below us, and a couple of others. But that keeps everything working while you're getting all the experience you need from the villagers, like those farmers there. And so you don't have to head off somewhere else to get the experience and sacrifice that time from all the supplies that you should be getting, keeping everything running. Now we're on the Apple Craft server, I'll show you how easy it is for these uh, farmer villagers. Now above is all of my, all my other farms. Of course, my pumpkin and melon farm are right here. The rest of my farms are still running and I need to repair that pickaxe. So come right over to the farmer villager. We'll trade him out since he's been zombified here on the Alpha Craft server. We're playing on hard mode so I can zombify them. If I needed uh, golden carrots, they also have them for just one, as I mentioned earlier. And as you can see, that pickaxe is starting to get repaired. It was pretty da badly damaged. We're almost done, actually. But anyway, it's that easy to repair your gear and get all the experience you need. One more should do it. And there it is. That pickaxe is now repaired. We're finishing off on the Apple Craft server. I also play on the Adult Craft server and I play on AdStar with my son, a family friendly server. So hopefully these tips will help you in your Minecraft world to be able to do the exact same thing. And if you need any help with those villagers, feel free to check out my many videos on villagers to help you do exactly what I do on all three of these servers. It makes it so much easier for experience, so much easier to mend all your tools, and also to get all those emeralds you need to buy more things from the villagers. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe for past or future videos, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know that I provide great quality content for you guys each and every week. So until next week's video, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.